Dr. Howard Ash Snyder, the pediatric dentist who was accused of mistreating, even abusing young patients for years, was arrested today and charged with Medicaid fraud. The 78-year-old turned himself in at the Duval County Jail shortly before 4 this afternoon. And just in the past 30 minutes, he posted bond and was released from jail. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker joins us live from the jail. Francesca. That's right, Mary. We have been waiting out here for several hours. And as you said, within the last 30 minutes, Dr. Howard Schneider not only bonded out, but was released from this Duval County Jail. Now, we were told by officers that he would be coming down these stairs, but that was not the case because, again, as I mentioned to you, we were standing out here. But according to the attorney who is representing multiple former patients of this dentist, this process is just beginning. I'm definitely excited. Can't really express how exactly I felt about it. Um, excited is all I can say. Justice was served. Definitely in the right area that we are headed and need to be. Brandy Motley and her attorney John Phillips say they are pleased with the recent arrest of local pediatric dentist Howard Schneider. You know, related to the, the Medicaid fraud, we haven't seen the particular allegations, but we know of at least one incident where not only was Medicaid charged, but somebody's credit card was charged for the very same procedure. Phillips is representing Motley, who claims she took her daughter to Schneider in December to have one tooth checked. But her daughter left the office with bruises, scratches, and seven pulled teeth. Phillips says that story is just one of dozens of malpractice allegations that now have been heard by the state attorney general's office. He says his office is handling at least 77 similar cases involving Schneider's former clients. We know of approximately 30 to 32 more that are being considered referred to our office and then um, there's another lawyer who I think has, you know, 75 plus. A News for Jack's investigation this summer found state records that show Schneider received $3.9 million in Medicaid reimbursements between 2010 and 2014. Now, 11 counts of making unauthorized Medicaid claims are being brought against the former dentist. But Motley says victims like her daughter are going through so much more. It's affected us big time from the whole situation of her not trusting male figures, including her father, um, the PTSD, the nightmares at night, the pain in her mouth, um, trusting the new dentist in ortho. It's affected her a lot. Her speech at school and at home, her eating habits, it was in every way possible. And again, it's important to note that in May, Schneider voluntarily gave up his license to practice dentistry in the state of Florida. Coming up at 11 o'clock, I'm speaking to a local attorney who is not affiliated with any of these cases. She breaks down what the defense attorney of, uh, excuse me, she breaks down what the defense team of Schneider will have to do. That's coming up at 11. For now, reporting live from Chesky Amaker, Channel 4, the local station.